Hello Blue Apron, my name is Jessica Mashinsky and today I'm going to cook for you a spice rubbed pork with sweet onions and black beans. I've got my ingredients out here and now I just got to get ready to make this thing. So I have peeled two onions and I am going to cut one into inch pieces and dice the other one. What I like about this, since the fiance is not home, I can easily do this all by myself. And it'll be ready when he gets home, working late. The way pen does not require super awesome knife skills. Another good thing, because I don't have them. think about what to cook today. I'm just about done dicing these up. Really good. Got the sinuses really going. You want to hear a bad joke? You know how you avoid crying when cutting onions? The key is not to form an emotional bond. <laughs> I know, I'm so good. This is what happens when I'm left home alone to cook. Anyhow, these are finished up. Let's just stick them in another bowl. And then I need to move on to some cilantro. I don't have any cilantro jokes, sorry. Oh no, this is difficult by myself. How do you people... Film yourselves. I'm using a potato right now to hold up the camera, so pretty dedicated. Finally chopping some cilantro and nothing fancy needed with Blue Apron. It's great. You're just a gourmet chef right here in your own kitchen. It takes less than an hour, so even after work, you can have a really way better meal than I would come up with by myself. All right, on to some garlic which I love. It's my favorite part because I get to smash things. Who do I need? Two cloves. Smash garlic. I can't really see it. Let's move this down. We gotta see some smashing action here. Oh, there we go. All right, here we go. Ready, garlic, smash. Oh, good stuff. Take off these pens. I like to use the bags that things come in just to deal with the garbage. An old Food Network trick. And then I just have to chop this up today roughly, which is nice. Another great thing I love about Blue Apron is the quality of the meat. Everything has been fantastic. Freezes well, defrosts well, it's healthy. We just don't have enough good words to talk about how awesome this is. Unlike my skills, which I know are bad. All right. It is time to start cooking. So I've got a pot on the stove here, very hot, ready to go. My meat is seasoned up and we're just gonna sear it. So, in you go. Oh yeah, sounds good. I hear the sizzle. And we just need to give it a couple minutes on the other side right now to brown, which pretty good because otherwise I set off the smoke alarms and overcook everything. So this is a great recipe for me. Give it a little 
turn in a minute here. Tongs. I wish I had better ones. Thank goodness we're getting married. Maybe someone will buy us some. Alright, we're almost done. We got two sides geared up. Gotta take these and sear up the side sides so that everything is in there and the juice stays in. Hmm, I'm cold. Now, I'm going to transfer this to my foil lined pan. Alright, here we are. Foil lined pan. Like this. Right on there you go. First, I was supposed to season them. Back in the bowl you go. Another great thing about Blue Apron is everything comes in there. Except for olive oil, salt, and pepper, which you always have around, right? So, never have to worry, unless I run out of olive oil, salt, or pepper, that I'm not going to have what I need to make a meal. I'm going to have to run to the grocery store or improvise or what. And then we just give this a quick toss back on the pan that I could originally put them on. And these are going to go right into the oven. All right, time to caramelize some onions. Get to start with some butter. This is one of my favorite things. I don't know why, I just love these tiny little packets of butter that come in Blue Apron. It's always good butter, obviously. But it's just so cute, this little pad of butter. It's definitely a thing that they could have just assumed you have. But no, instead you get this nice delicious Creekside Creamery butter. Okay, butter is melted in with the onions. Brown them up a little. I just love caramelized onions so much. They are delicious. They make every meal taste better. If you have extras, you can use them in anything. Sandwiches, salads, burgers. Mm. All right, now we get to add brown sugar. A little bit of sweetness. And half a cup of water. And let these turn into a delicious sauce that will go with our beans, which the next thing that we get to cook up. So, after I finish incorporating all of this, we are going to move over to that pan. Alright, looks good. I'll just let that go and turn this pan back up. Okay. Cook the beans while that caramelizes. Heat the fond on medium high until hot. It doesn't seem dry. I don't need to add any more oil. And then put this garlic right in that hot pan. Still pretty warm from before, so that's nice. Garlic right in there. Beyonce's home. Garlic's roasted up, so it can go with the beans. I think it's 
so hot on this electric stove, so I'm constantly stirring and making sure that things don't overheat. Because you know, it's really smoky, I had to open a window even today. Uh oh. I really hope I can edit this. I keep dropping the camera. Oh no, your potato <laughs> camera stand's not working. It's all. terrible! Alright, so now I add honey and vinegar to the beans. Alright, Blue Apron, everything's done. Plated dish, Beyonce's home, so now we're gonna go eat. Thanks for watching.